Hey guys, by the way, and today I'm gonna show you a constructive tutorial ping pong. Last time I did it, I did not do it full. Now we are gonna create a full. These are my other templates, but we are gonna not focus on them now. We are gonna press new, create a new empty project, and I think I'm gonna explain a few things. So this whole white screen is your layout size. You can resize it from over here. Press the plus option and you can set the width and height over here. The next thing is this dotted line. You can see there's dots over here. So what those are, those are the window screen. These are the proportions that would be shown on your screen when you play the game. Like only this much amount of your layout size would be shown. And I think that is 858 by 858. So to actually resize these things, first we have to resize this according to our game templates. So to actually resize these things, we're gonna have to copy this to this. So how to do that? You're gonna wanna press new project, window size over here under project settings. You're gonna copy this control C for short and paste this over this low layout size. You're gonna have to select this all over here and paste it. Control V for short. And you can see those dotted lines are gone because those both have the same size. So now what you have to do? You're gonna want to rename this layer right here to background. And you're gonna add a background as you guessed. Every game has a background. Now over here, how to add a background? You have to double click on the white screen over here or you can right click insert new object and you're gonna have to select sprite. Now you can set the name over here in the name bar I guess so it's named that. Now what you're gonna have to do is write your suitable name for your background. I'm gonna name it background and press enter. You're gonna click anywhere on the screen and you're gonna get this widget. So now what to do, you're gonna select this bucket option right here and you're gonna choose the designated color you want. I'm gonna choose the black color because I like that better. I'm gonna set this to uh, white for now. And you can see this square filled with black color that's the object that you'll get you can only fill your object in this square not outside it that's the background of your object but right now we have the background so that background doesn't matter that background is the outside of the screen we are gonna come to that later i guess when i show give more tutorials now you can see this little bit of white space left over here you don't want any white space so fill that up like that now your background is complete but now if i do anything or double click on it this will get selected that does not make it convenient right so you're gonna have to lock your background layer that's why we created a new layer for background now press the add button right here the plus button and you're gonna choose your new layer it will be layer 0 because construct, construct 2 counts from 0 and you're gonna have to press this pen icon or you can press F2 and you can write any name you want to give I'm gonna do specific names A sets because the things we are adding here are called A sets of the game now double click on this or right click and insert new object press sprite and i'm gonna name this paddle one now construct two does not allow spaces hmm what can we do about that you can press the underscore you can add the underscore over here and that would be the space for construct two now if i insert it's not gonna show any warnings now what you can you have to do is take any color you want from the color palette you can just select your mouse mouse cursor and you can move around and the output would be shown over here i'm gonna select
set the color to cyan and you are going to click on the square outline which is this border kind of white border i guess so you are going to press the cross now the exit button if i have to be specific and you are going to set the size you want to for this by using these dots i think that's the correct size for the panel so if you don't find it convenient by dragging this you can also set it by the size option we have here under the common you can see the size option we have here the convenient size you can do is 30 uh, 30 i mean uh, 143 like that and at the 36 at the start so your correct size would be 36 comma 143 that is the exact same thing over here now right click on this right click over on this scan color and press this option called clone object type press anywhere on your screen and you're going to get the exact same box as you got here earlier press on it and get the green color any color you want you can again drag your mouse and see the output here to make it lighter you can just drag this to the white side or drag this to the black side so get the green color you want i'm going to make it a darker press it over here common mistakes common mistakes now press on this as i already told you about the size in the common section you are going to copy the size and paste it over here and you can position it as you want that's our two paddles hmm what about the ball now what you can do is press double click anywhere on this black screen press the sprite and right ball and you can use this brush icon now we only know about this fill icon until now but there are different other options you can explore them but right now we are only going to use the brush option you're going to have to set the color to whichever color you want and the size would be 200 and the hardness would be 100 now hardness what is that that's something that will soften the edges like if i set the hardness to 1 you're going to immediately notice how soft the edges are like they are almost a blur if i set this to 50 you're going to see not that hard but again the surroundings are a little blur if i set this to 100 that means 100% hardness It's a perfect circle. So that's what we need right now. You can also click the smooth option for a little smoother things. But we don't need that right now. And you can set it to black by set, setting the background screen to black by pressing this toggle background brightness. So you see we have got a ball but there's a problem. This is a big one. So press shift and press the left mouse button. and you can resize it to whatever size you want that's done now let's go to some block coding so press on any one of your presets or you can just click on the background screen double click and go a little bit down under the input section you can see this keyboard option right there you can change its name but i prefer that don't change it any other from keyboard now press the insert you'll get this notification added keyboard this object will be available to enter project in that many seconds now if you click on this event sheet one over here or you can also click over double click over here you'll get this sheet Now double click or press this add event option and select the ball or should I say paddle on one that is the um paddle we have created so 
Okay, no, not this. You are going to go to the keyboard and key is down. This option right here. Test if a keyboard key is currently held down. The description for every command is written right at the top. So, press next and press on this notification you get key to choose. Now, press any key on your keyboard you want. So, we need up and down for our side pedal and W and S for our green pedal. I'm going to press the up arrow for the paddle of one or should I say paddle of cyan and this will be the key which we press and the paddle will go up to deflect the ball from its size that's the ping pong game right so now you see we have got a command right here but what to do next so press on this add action right next to this command you get a gray section and a add section action thing right over here press on the text and you can do many other things though. actions have more commands than the command itself so you have to select the paddle you have coded the up arrow for and set it to down yep you have to write move at angle now which angle do we choose you are gonna have to choose 270 for one and 90 for one this is a test and hit error thingy kind of now if i press the up arrow let's see if anything happens yep this is going up exactly fine so now we are gonna do the same for the others press ctrl c ctrl v four times you are gonna do this okay i am going a little bit too fast so you are gonna press this up arrow is down the second serial number and you are gonna press on the key again and press the down arrow okay done paddle o1 move one pixel at 270 that's your action and you're gonna set it to 90. constructive moves from 360 to 270 to 180 to 90 and then one so that's the opposite of what you start from in angles now on the other hand right here we have up arrows down up arrow is down and the cyan paddle getting action we have already coding our coded our cyan paddle now what to do right click on this keyboard and you're gonna do oh, no not right click press on the keyboard up arrow is down third serial number and change it to um, w and go on the second one change it to s now the paddle zero one that's something we have to change right click on the paddle zero one and you can do replace object set it to paddle o2 now let's test this should be absolutely fine if we press w the green paddle is going down and if we press the up arrow and down arrow our other one is going up now something is wrong over here if i press um, w this is good but it's going kind of out and we have to fix that so you can do that by going inside your layout by clicking on this or double clicking on this zoom out a little bit and you can press any one of these or do a double click at both of these but that won't work so press any one of these first and go inside the behaviors this is a new thing if you don't know these are some custom behaviors that something can do like our asset can do now there are a bunch of different confusing things over here sign what does that mean um, let me tell you about some of these solid what does it do make the object
object impossible so the object cannot move or fall through it anchor position objects relative to the size of the window flash make an object temporarily flash blink so we don't need any of these right now we just need one behavior from over here and that would be our bound to layer and you press the add close it and do the same with the other one now that is done if we run our layout and if you try going out it's impossible you can go out now the s key for this is not working let's check our code and i wouldn't exactly call this code this is block coding uh -ha, here's the problem this we have set this to move one pixel at angle 270 and this is also 270 which means both are moving up you can change this to 90 and now it should move down if you have done everything correctly if you have any queries you can ask me in the comments so this is it for this one i'm gonna finish this i think in a week this series in a week thank you for watching this video guys bye